right, well I'm back and uh, another day and uh, I'm gonna, I see, you can see our piston and connecting rods are all uh, correctly mounted here now and um, the next step I'm gonna do is actually take and I'm gonna clean oil, grease and fingerprints from, uh, from the outer race of the upper main bearing here and as well the, um, and the bearing bore here in the crankcase and uh, as well like I said they're gonna I can clean the grease out of on the, the main bearing race here and uh, and then what I'm going to do also um, after I do that I'm going to put a little bit of Loctite along around here on, on the on the bore and uh, then as I place it in you'll notice that each of the uh, each of the bearings here have a, a hole and I got to fit that hole into these holes right here on uh, on the, where the crankshaft sits in the housing there so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do now I'm gonna clean clean this up clean this area up and then put a little bit of Loctite in here and then be that's how I'm gonna be fitting those in there so as well you notice right here is this um, crank uh, crankshaft uh, ceiling ring it's got an end gap right there and what I'm gonna do when I put it into the uh, here I'm going to face this opening gap the end gap right there into this edge here so I want it's not going to be hanging out here I'm going to position it back into this space um, again you can get a better look at it there see it's hanging loose but it fits into that slot and I'm just going to make sure again that it does fit um, when I fit it I'm going to position that facing back towards the um, towards the crank shaft half there Okay, just another note here. Um, this is the uh, crankshaft seal ring, and it's got this end gap here. And when you install it, not only do you face this towards those holes there, this hole here, but these these end gaps here will also face in towards the uh, the crank uh, case half here. So just make sure they aren't floating out here, but just rather facing right back, the opening faces back there. All right, so I got the Loctite in here. I've tipped it on its side for ease of putting this in here. And um, so again, I'm, I'm just lining these things up, putting the holes, uh, like I said, and fitting them in there. And those seal bearings are gonna be popping into place. As I, I fit it down here, everything's gonna be properly fitted in. And I'll uh, get this in and I'll get back to this. So I'll get back to you in a second. All right, well, I got the crankshaft into the case here. It took a bit of uh, wiggling to try to figure out. I found out uh, that it was best actually to start with this one kind of seated in here and then um, and then slowly. You see that there's these uh, guide dots on the other side indicating that opposite those is where those, uh, um, those bumps are, the little knot rods or whatever you want to call them that sit into the set holes on these. And I've got again these uh, seals are um, pointing down on their end parts. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, attach the connecting rods. And I've previously I marked out the connect the correct uh, um, what do you call these things? You gotta get all the right terms, you know. Um, I so the rod rod caps and um, for each connecting rod. The cage halves and rollers and all that I've I've uh, marked them out uh, separately already and the bearings and everything so I'm going to put them in um, I numbered them when I took them apart according to the right connecting rod right piston so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and the important thing to note uh, there is the um, of course every you should know the uh, your correct torque specs and on mine uh, these connecting rod screws are uh, 180 to 190 inch pounds so I'm going to tighten them to that that amount and I'm going to go ahead and do that now so yeah I just want to make note of each um, of these when I took them apart I, I marked um, I marked which ones I wanted to, uh, well I marked their orientation saying which way without in case they're saying the driver's side of the boat was pointing that way so just to make sure I had them marked however you mark it just make sure you got them putting them in exactly right orientation to what you had them before um, that's very important so 
that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. First thing I did was put the uh, bottom uh, bearing housing piece in and then uh, threw those rod bearings in the bottom and now I'm going to figure out a way to get those into the top and put it on here without, uh, you know, making a mess. But I, we'll see if I can figure it out. I'll tell you when I'm done. Actually, it's pretty simple what to do. So I put the last two that go in between here, just uh, between the two housings uh, on. And then I can actually just drop this down here in place and then just push these, place these in. See, they just pop in. So I can do that and then just drop it right on the right on there, the cover. All right, so I placed the rods on the top here and I'm just going to throw this on and put it on the member again I'm going to put it to the right orientation now I'll confirm that again as I do it but uh, and then I'll crank it to the uh, the right torque that I specified before I also couldn't help myself and I figured it was a good idea just to throw a little bit of two-stroke oil on that just uh, just uh, so I give it a good lubricating start and I've done that in a couple of places here, so I imagine in like of course the pistons when I put them in the rings and things. So it'll be smoky when I do start this up for the first little bit, but that'll that'll clean out and I'll have a good conscience about it. I should mention that the uh, little bolts here, I went and had to buy a uh, quarter inch socket ratchet and a star one to fit on there. And it's just a regular ratchet, but a star one I went to the auto parts store and got that because I didn't happen to have that. So. That's uh, just for what I'm using to tighten on. Uh, yeah, the bolts. And one little note when you're using either an inch pound or foot pound uh, um, torque wrench like of this kind, I don't have the big fancy kind. In fact, I just borrowed this from a friend. But to see how this handle wiggles, when you're tightening it, you don't want to have it pushed one side or the other. You want that to float freely as you pull don't let it touch either side because that gives you the accurate reading if you crank it to one side or the other like that it uh, won't give you the accurate reading so again just leave that floating as you pull okay here you can see I've got it um, the first on now so um, yeah the cage tab and rollers are it's all in there now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the rest on